Oh, okay. Here we go. Well, Eric and Tom, ever since I first heard about uh, the new team on CHIPS, I've been really curious and, and excited about it because I think just visually, the two of you complement one another so well. It's good looking, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but now, Eric, how about that? You know, are you worried about this good looking blonde? I'm looking forward to this guy taking the heat. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it. I hope that we can cash in on that face. Give us a couple more years of the show, because I enjoy being Ponch. I enjoy playing the role. And for his sake, to taste what, what I was lucky enough to taste, the success, the notoriety. What will you, uh, let's say he asks you, because maybe you wouldn't want to be presumptuous enough to offer, but let's say Tom starts to get some fame and, and press and all that kind of pressure that you've been through. Mm -hmm. And I have known you since the beginning of your mm -hmm. doing punch. And, and I could see, you know, after a while what this pressure was doing to you, Eric. So what will you advise him if he asks you? To get thick skin. Get thick skinned for the bad stuff, which is going to come anyway. And you can't really tell somebody to get thick skinned and try to keep you keep it together because you it's different for everyone how you, you take it for a while <coughs> there it's, for a while there I used to carry it really you know and it really hurt the bad press I'm talking about the lies that that sort of thing um, be prepared be like a girl scout sell those cookies be pre <laughs> girl scout <laughs> be prepared um, um, develop a, some, a, your own personal style of working. Always allow an hour of, of the day for, for yourself, for your own little space. Have a place to go to, like one corner of your house or something, where you sit and you read your work, you know your lines. Be ready. Be ready. Because you're in. you got a great opportunity. Do you have any sort of, of questions going around in your head, Tom, that, that mm -hmm. this is your chance, you know, ask him. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm asking him every day. <laughs> Do I get the blonde or the brunette? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, uh, I'll give you both. I, <laughs> I, talk, <laughs> I ask Eric a lot of questions, you know, a lot of things. And, and if I don't ask, sometimes he just shows me or tells me, you know, watch your angle here or, you know, over there, you know, you should have maybe, you know, to help yourself, this line is, you know, we work the lines together. You know, he, he's on, on top of it because he knows that, you know, I'm new basically in the business itself and I'm new as this character because it's, this character is not only uh, a person on the street, it's not like, uh, it's an officer at the same time. So you have to hold yourself with a certain uh, dignity. Uh, you have to watch the way you stand or, or you know, basically to stay in, stay within that mold at the same time of being happy. And trying to be. Right, and trying to know. be me at the same time. Um, it's hard to be. People see a uniform, so right away they're intimidated, right? So I tell them, look, you, you just got out of the academy, so you, you'd be the type of guy that you'd always be almost at attention at all time because you, you've been indoctrinated for a year mm -hmm. at the academy. To do that, you've been trained conditioned. But at the same time, he's got to carry that and then carry his character and also see if you could be likable also in a uniform, which, you know, it's a difficult thing to do. Eric, you seem not to have any residual effects from your accident. Do you have any? Um, in this arm, well, I broke this wrist. No, I don't. I, I'm pretty, pretty well. I recovered very, I, I was in really top shape then. I was in good shape then. But really, at least the first reports we got scared us all to death. I was in, ten, I should have been dead for all intents and purposes. I should have been gone. I was four days in intensive care. Both my lungs collapsed. I was, they wouldn't give me any pain pills or any painkillers because I had to breathe under my own strength. They had to get the blood out of my lungs. So they kept shooting me with uh, in all my arteries and to see if I cracked my aorta or busted my aorta. They kept 
flipping me back and forth under the x-ray machine. There is it there. There was a lot of love pouring out from fans, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Was I that what got you well? That and the mere fact that I didn't want to die because I, I st still haven't reached where I want to get to. That helped a lot. That really helped. Was it an accident that could have been avoided? Yes. In what way? Well, we were going for the set fourth take on a silly shot. By the way, that director no longer works on the show. Mm -hmm. It was a silly shot. He did it three times already, and they, and they had two cameras on it, and they wanted to and they wanted to do it again. And I said, what do you want to do it again for? I says, you got it at two different angles six times. And he said, well, it wasn't exactly that. Sense. Okay, okay, got on the bike. The car pulls back. I'm after the car. He's supposed to stop 10 feet before. He stopped 10 feet away from his mark. And I was already on second gear and shifting into second gear. And I see the car stop, so I had to downshift real quick and maneuver and I hit gravel and I went and the bike followed me and crushed me. <clears throat> so it was a freak accident. It was something that shouldn't have happened. Tom, how are you at bikes? <laughs> well, it's, it's been different. Um, it's the same thing that's happening to me sometimes. You know, something happens and you go down. The bikes are very, very heavy. And when you reach a certain point on that bike, you can fall down. And, but I've been careful and he makes sure I don't do any crazy things on it. And the people around me, you know, I can't just ride to where they want me to start off without wearing my helmet or anything like that. Because, you know, what happened with Eric, <coughs> excuse me, makes people a lot more cautious. You know, it's not, they don't let, just let you take it out and ride around and have a good time with it, you know. It's very easy. They watch your moves. Um, and if there's something that's a little different that they may want me to do that I've never done before, Eric and I will go over like a turn, tight turn or quick turn. We'll run it before we have to shoot it. Well, I think it's going to be a terrific new season for Chips. I'm looking forward to it. Eric, good to see you again. Thank you. And Tom, good luck to you. Thank you very much.